It's hard to believe it has been two decades since we lost a very talented and funny man, actor John Ritter. He died from an aortic dissection. That's a tear in the main artery that carries blood from the heart to the body. So doctors initially thought it was a heart attack because the symptoms are so similar. I recently sat down with Ritter's wife, actress Amy Yazbek, about her advocacy work shedding light on this heart condition and helping others who've been impacted completely different treatment. John went in with chest pains and they started treating him with blood thinners and running an angiogram up and he was dissecting. Exactly. It wasn't a block, it was a tear. It wasn't his heart, it was his aorta. At what point did you say, I want to do something. Let me create this foundation in his name and let me really save lives and change lives. Weeks, not even weeks, because what I had heard in the hospital when John died was, you can't see this coming. It's a ticking time bomb. And I'm like, but I'm MacGyver. Ticking time bombs don't scare me. What if you know how to, you know, diffuse it? Armed with information, Yazbek started the John Ritter Foundation. On its website, you'll find Ritter's Rules, an online resource educating people on how to recognize, treat, and prevent aortic dissection. Her inbox flooded with emails from strangers who've been impacted by her husband's passing. We have the most amazing inbox, our foundation, because people feel so lonely when this happens to them because they're told this is very rare, we couldn't see it coming. If you have any suspicion, if you have unexplained early deaths in your family before 60, proceed with caution and safety. And if you go in with chest pain to the hospital, you can say, please, you know, measure my aorta, check me for the John Ritter thing. You have to know what it's, what it's called. People's lives have been saved that way. And her work isn't over next month. Yazbek will hold a fundraiser in honor of a family in Frederick, Maryland that's been impacted by the same heart condition. That event is on March 15th at the Citizens Ballroom in Frederick. There will be games and prizes, lots of fun. For more information, head to the John Ritter Foundation website. Coming up today on News 4 at 4, more of my conversation with Yazbek, the genetic component with this heart condition, and how John's passing actually saved a member of his own family. It was an amazing conversation yeah. with her and we talked probably for 40 minutes and then the wow. poor editor had to say, let me slice and dice this <laughs> right, down. Right, right, so five minutes, right. But right. it's it's incredibly informative, so please do watch yeah. later.